good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday, July 21st. My name is Adam Handler. I am your case handler. I am currently broadcasting live on 93.5 FM and also on Facebook and Instagram, but not doing it from my office, not doing it from my home office, but doing it from Newport, Rhode Island. So greetings from the smallest state in the United States. You are now, I want to say cruising, but maybe in a different way. Instead of cruising, you're cruising like a boat. Cruising with the case handler. We are Pollock, Pollock, Isaac Tosico. We are lawyers. We are here to help. We are here to answer your questions for 100% free. Immigration, personal injury, matrimonial, criminal defense. You got a legal problem. We got a legal answer. Our phone number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Uh, squeeze, what's going on, man? Everything is going on. We're live. Definitely, definitely alive. Also want to say a pleasant good morning to everyone on the panel. Okay, I see the panel looks much better, not because you're in that bright shirt, Adam, but because we've got Andrea on board with us all right <laughs> we've got the maverick and we got some puma dude on we'll talk about that later if you find out who that puma dude is puma just got a plug on our show all right but once again ladies and gentlemen this is cruising with the case handler it's a show on personal injury and immigration hopefully everybody's is well and okay with the family wherever you are we're here to answer your immigration questions we're here to talk about personal injury and the true success stories that Adam Handler, our personal injury attorney, has settled. And we just want to say welcome to each and every one for tuning in today. It's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a beautiful day. But like I noted earlier, we are alive. So can anyone introduce uh, the new guy that's on the panel? Okay. Sure. I, I, I believe it's a true success story. Yeah, man. I will do the honors. Uh, we have Isma on right now. He is a client of Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico. We just had a very, very successful result in his personal injury case. We settled it during the pandemic uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, we got a great picture we can show everybody, and uh, just in time for Testimonial Tuesday. So, so Adam, why, why don't we start all over? How did he come about? You know, I, I need to know. You say, listen, you have settled $120 million for your client to raise. That's a lot of money, man. That's Ooh, a lot that's of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And here you are now with one of your true success stories. So this is no BS. You're live on the, on, on the radio. You're live on Facebook. People are sharing the pages and everything. You have a live body that evidently got benefit from using you as an attorney. So Mr. Case Handler, just give me everything from the beginning. Yeah. So it, this was a referral from a prior client of mine. And, you know, referrals are some of the highest compliments that anybody can pay to an attorney, right? Mm -hmm. uh, anybody listening right now will hear us and say, hey, this sounds like a bunch of lawyers. There you go. Out. No, I'll keep their number, save their number, and use their number if I need it. But when you have a referral, whether it's from a prior client or another attorney, that's basically somebody saying to somebody else, hey, listen, you cannot go anywhere else. I worked with this attorney. I got uh, a, a wonderful result. I was treated with respect and, and dignity. And uh, I can't believe I even have to say that for a lawyer, but you'll be surprised and we can get that in a second. And, and, and it was just a wonderful experience. You can't go anywhere else. You must go to the case handler. If you have an accident, you, you must go uh, to Adam Handler and Matt Goodstein and Paul, Paul, guys, they're going to take care of you. And Isma was in a very serious accident. He's smiling. He looks good right now. But let me just tell you what happened to this gentleman. He's riding his bike, right? He's in Brooklyn. He's driving, riding his bike straight, you know, paying attention, obeying all traffic laws. When all of a sudden a van on the right side of the road made a sharp U-turn, a left U-turn to try to turn around. With no warning, no blinker, the guy wasn't even looking. He admitted he wasn't even looking. He just made the left turn because he was running late. Knocks into Isma. Broken ribs, broken thumb, and a knee injury. He had a surgery to his knee. He had lacerations all over his arms, all over the side of his body, all over his legs. And his iPhone, I, I wish we could maybe pull up this picture. His iPhone was literally bent like a rainbow. It didn't break. The screen did not even crack, but bent. I mean, that's how serious this impact was. 
He was rushed to the hospital. I believe you were sent, where were you sent to? Brookdale Hospital or Kings County? Is okay. Isma. Okay. Let me unmute him. One second, one second. I'll unmute you. Hold on. Anyway, while you're doing that, he was rushed to the hospital. Um, and, uh, you know, a few days later, his, his friend uh, said, listen, you, you got to go with the case handler. You got to call Adam Handler and see what he can do. Hold on, hold on one minute. Isma, and you unmute. We immediately unmute, unmute your, your, your session. I'm trying to do that, Candy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it was okay. in uh, Brooklyn, right. you know, on, in Parslop on 7, 7 Avenue, I think. That That's the, the hospital? hospital? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, the first thing we had to do is file a claim against the van. Now, in New York, when you're either on a bike or you're a pedestrian, the vehicle that strikes you is responsible for your medical bills. Now, that's different if you were driving an automobile. If you were driving an automobile... Oh, Please, can you turn on that ringer? When, yeah. If you're driving an automobile, your vehicle pays your medical bills. Their vehicle pays their medical bills. It's called no-fault insurance. But he was a bicyclist, oh. so now we can go against the other vehicles uh, the other vehicles insurance for the, for the medical bills. Uh, okay. So that's exactly what we did. We got every medical bill paid from the hospital to the therapy to the surgery. He even had to see a psychiatrist uh, for a few months because he was having flashbacks and nightmares of the accident, which is only, uh, only understandable. But to make a long story short, this case went on for about a year and we were ready to go to trial. The trial obviously was gonna be postponed because of the pandemic, no jury trials right now in Brooklyn. And we settled his case for $550,000, squeeze. Can you imagine? $550,000. Wow. Congratulations, man, to both of you. Thanks. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. to both of you. That's sorry, great. sorry about Thank the background noise. Can, can you let me share my screen too, squeeze? Absolutely. Absolutely. Seems like you're under a lot of pressure this morning, Adam. You know, wherever you are at. All right, let's do this. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're in tune to cruising with the case handler. Um, uh, Please, why don't you ask Isma about the services that we provided, if you don't mind. Repeat that. Why don't you ask Isma how he felt about our firm? You know, I always get uncomfortable when we talk about our, ourselves here. I'm way too comfortable with him. I think it's my job to speak with the better, all right? So, Isma, what was, what was dealing with Adam Handler and, his, and the firm like? What was it really like? Oh, oh. it's... I, it was really, really great. I appreciate it. He just take me, you know, but uh, first, first, I'm, I have to let you know, I don't speak well English. My English is very, very bad. So, Adam, so when I get my accident, uh, I, am, I was in the hospital. Uh, one day after, some people calling me calling me they say okay i have lawyer here the lawyer gonna take you and i have one friend who told me okay don't listen to anybody i have one friend in manhattan his name's adams he's a good lawyer and if i go there i'm gonna see good results i said okay no problem and he gave me he gave me the number of adams my friend didn't come to me and he said okay go to 225, Five. well, yeah. 225 Broadway, and I call him. He's going to bring me upstairs. I said, okay. And when I get there, I call, and he said, okay, come to Palak Palak. And I go there. Uh, I really explain how was the accident. And after that, I was really happy because I stay home like three three months I couldn't go outside, I stay laying, but every time when I text him, I say, hey, I have this problem, I have this problem. He said, okay, come Monday or come Tuesday, he's gonna give me a date. And I go there, he's gonna resolve the problem. And really, I'm really, really happy. I don't know how, I don't know how to say thanks to Adams. And another day or one day, if anybody I know had, a problem and he need a lawyer I uh, don't hesitate one second to refer him to Adam Scandler because he take my case really like his brother like his family member you know so and I'm really proud I don't know how I'm really happy so <laughs> I don't have words 
to 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 qualify his job what he did he did for me you know got you got you it's my and that's how we roll squeeze this and this is the same story we hear over and over you know the clients that feel like family they can get in touch with us whenever they need to he sends me a text message i respond he wants to see me he comes sees me he comes exactly. to see me um, yes. But again, it's all about having that phone number. Words, you make your clients feel very comfortable. You make you make them feel like family. You take care of them, and that's what you have always been exactly. like to them. Okay, exactly. isn't that true, Isma? Isn't that how he made you feel? He made you feel very comfortable, not like you were just a case, right? Exactly. Is this this very important? If you go to somebody who take you like his family member, mm -hmm. that's it. You anything you you trust him, and you have to wait anything. Gotcha. So it's why he did, and he make everybody comfortable. How did, so really, how, really. I'm, now, I'm now really the settlement happy. that you got, the settlement that you got, that cannot replace the hurt that you, uh, your feeling or you went through. But are you happy with the settlement that you got, Adam? What did you say? Are you happy with the settlement that you got um, from Adam? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm really happy. I'm I mean, really come on, man. 550... Five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, man. I've got to ask money. him. Come on, you know. I know. You, I, yeah. Listen, it's a rhetorical question from my side, but you know, I still got to ask him. You know, and there you are, okay, holding a check with Adam Handler. You've got your. Uh, this is our. This is our first socially distanced case handler. Uh, you know, a photograph, uh, which, uh, you know, is kind of sad, but kind of cool, I guess. Right. But, you know, that's uh, that's some big money for him. So, you know, we're very excited. And his uh, quote is great. Huge, you know, Adam. I mean, uh, you said uh, the whole team is simply the best. Adam is a good guy and a good lawyer. I'm really happy and would recommend these lawyers 100 percent. So, my brother, thank you so much for the recommendation. Thank you for being, uh, you know, a client of ours and allowing us to represent you. Again, $550,000 for a bike accident. And most importantly, we were able to, you know, resolve this case in a favorable way for him during this pandemic. When things seem like they're just impossible to deal with, uh, it's, it's really a great thing. There you go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a case the shark, okay, handling business right here. Or of course, cruising with the case handler, all right? Isma. Congratulations again. I know that you know the money, substantial as it is, it can't it can't necessarily replace the injury that you've gone through. But the good thing about it is that you're happy that it has appeased that. And I'm very happy that Adam did an excellent job, as expected, as usual, and treated you like family. And thank, thank you, you so much for being on. As a matter of fact, if you had anything to say to the people on 93.5 FM and the people watching us on Facebook. What would you say to them about using Adler, um, Adam Handler or not? Uh, I think uh, I have to tell them, anybody who have any problem of accident, don't hesitate to contact Adam Handler because it's not, he is not only a lawyer, but he is your family member. He's you your friend there, also, yeah. Take, he's your family member. That's important. Is this Dude, that is life. That yeah. is such a nice compliment, and, and and I thank you so much. And this is, not, I'm telling you, we Nelson and I were just having this conversation, ladies and gentlemen, before we even went live. You know, we love our clients. I don't, I mean, I like every one of my clients. You know, so there are some clients that you know maybe are a little difficult to deal with, but you still have to put that smiling face on. You still have to treat their case like it's their most important case. Like it's freaking up a little out of most important case. Because that's the only way you're gonna get a successful result. We love what we do. We're practicing attorneys. I, I I love personal injury law. I love what we do. I love handing those big fat checks uh, to the clients because then I know, you know, I did my job and justice was served, just like Nelson. You know, loves handling the immigration. Andrea loves handling the immigration. You know, their job is to legalize your status here in the United States to the best of their ability. So we do some incredible things here, but it all starts with that phone number. If Isma wasn't referred to me, I would never know that, you know, he had an accident. You know, we don't hang out at the emergency room. We're not over at the scene of the accident. You must call us for us to be your lawyers. If you want what you believe to be the best possible attorney fighting for you and your family, you're gonna take down this number, you're gonna save it. Hopefully you never need it, 
but God forbid you do. Just like Isma, he didn't know that morning that he was going to get hit by a van and break ribs and break a thumb and, and have lacerations all over. Adam, we're getting, you're getting a little bit, uh, uh, yeah, you're going a little bit in and out. So let me uh, get in here. You know what happens. In and out. Let me get what, in here. What, 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 what's the stops. four letters you use? Please, sometimes. All right, guys. We're going to have to uh, fix Adam here. All right. Uh, all right. Hold on, Adam. Yeah. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say thanks to Isma for getting on uh, with us you know, on Tuesday with a had a case handler. Uh, want, to say, want to say thanks to Adam Handler for bringing him on. I want to say thanks for everyone for tuning in and listening to that personal injury segment. Isma, thank you so much, my brother. And we're looking forward to having you again on the show, all right? And listen, please be safe, okay? And keep referring Adam Handler, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Not a problem, my brother. You take care of yourself. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. And the bye. number is 844-774-3529. That is 844-774-3529. Squeeze, I have a question for you. What's the question? Are you down with PPID? You know me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with a case out there, show on personal injury. And there is a great and a phenomenal example of one of uh, the clients that Adam Handler actually helped. $550,000 for a bike accident. And that's the reason why everyone should dial the number and store the number now. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Don't worry about it, Adam. We got your back, man. Wherever you are in the sunshine, the blue, cloudy, uh, sunny sky in the background. Enjoy yourself, man. All right. We got this. Okay. So 844-774-3529. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking your immigration questions now. So please place those immigration questions in the WhatsApp group or place them on Facebook on the page right here. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we'll make sure that all is well. Let's jump to immigration now. Thank you, Adam, again. Um, let's jump to immigration. Let's touch base with the lady that is on the show today, the lady of the show today, and that's Andrea, one of the attorneys at PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the sequel. How are you doing today, Andrea? Hi, Squeeze. I'm doing well. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you. I'm doing the show from my office this time, so a little bit of a change. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Different. Yeah. All right. How is it there over at PPID? It's good. Um, it's good to get back to the routine. Um, Nelson's right over there, a little bit farther away from me. He's in the office, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's good. It's been it's been a weird transition going back into the office, but it's definitely making things feel like they're normal again or starting to get normal. So it's been great. Beautiful. Anything you want to touch on where immigration is concerned? Yeah, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about Biden's new immigration policies or his proposed policies. There's a lot of changes that he is proposing, but I'm just briefly going to talk about a few of them today. Um, one of the main ones is that he wants to reverse the public charge rule. I know Conrad and Nelson have been talking about the public charge rule since the show started. Um, but if Biden is able to reverse this new change, then we would potentially go back to the older, more lenient rule and not have to deal with all of the new changes that were implemented in February. Um, Another change he wants to do, or not a change, but he wants to reinstate DACA, mm -hmm. which was very, is very uncertain right now. He wants to eliminate the uncertainty um, surrounding DACA recipients. He wants to provide DREAMers a way to citizenship. So hopefully that is something that he will work on if he becomes president. Another one of his changes is to allow the DACA recipients or the DREAMers to obtain um, federal loans uh, to go to school, student federal student loans, which they're not eligible for now. So a lot of them are have a lot of difficulty being able to get an education because of this fact. Um, an interesting change too is for U visas, which we discussed in the past, uh, those are for the victims of crimes. He wants to triple the current 
uh, cap on them. The current cap is 10,000 a year. So he wants to triple that and hopefully get rid of the backlog that we've had for so many years. Um, right now, if you apply for a U visa, you can be waiting for up to four or five years before you even get your um, a work permit. So if he triples that, then that would be a little bit better for immigrants right now. Um, another change, well, with the asylum process, he has a lot of proposed changes. Everything going on in the border right now is crazy. Uh, people are being sent back or they're asked to remain in Mexico or there's a cap or a metering of individuals that can come in each day. That was before COVID. Now with COVID, it's nearly impossible to get through the border. So he, he's, he has a lot of um, ideas or proposed changes for that, which I think would be really good. Um, he also wants to restore asylum claims for victims of domestic violence and victims of gang violence, which is a big problem in Central American communities. Um, and he also wants to uh, end prolonged detention. That's for children in right now, especially for children that are detained for unknown periods of time without any idea of when they'll be able to get out. So there's a lot, a lot of information out there that he is proposing. And some of the changes or most of the changes would be very, very good for, for immigrants. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the attorneys at PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and Seco. She's here on the show cruising with a case handler, which comes your way 8.30 a.m. each and every single weekday. Andrea is there. We nicknamed her Shira. Okay. <laughs> and she's one of the individuals who have been speaking with many of you um, in reference to your consultation, your immigration questions. Now, everyone out there, if you call, ladies and gentlemen, now you will get a free phone immigration consultation. Dial this number, reach out to Andrea, reach out to the Maverick, that's Nelson Madrid, and the number to call is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Get a free immigration consultation with them, a phone consultation. 844-774-3529. All right, let's switch over to the Maverick, um, Shira, for a minute there, okay? Once again, their government is Andrea Share and, of course, Nelson Madrid. Mr. Maverick, it's time for the Maverick Minute before we get to the questions here on Cruising with the Case Handler. We're on immigration. So, so I have been at uh, PPID for 13 years. Um, one of the reasons I've been with the firm as long as I have is – you know, and I've said this before, we don't take every case that walks through the door. You know, we don't sell you a dream. Right. We tell you whether or not we can help you. We tell you whether or not we believe we will be successful. Um, and I believe that information allows a person to make an informed decision. Okay. Um, it's very easy for an attorney to tell you what it is you want to hear. We don't work that way. Um, and again, I've been with the firm for 13 years, and I'd say that is one of the primary reasons why I have been with the firm as long as I have. Um, I like to sleep at night. You know, we don't have disgruntled clients screaming in reception. Um, you know, Adam often says this, you know, um, again, we, we don't give refunds because we don't take cases that we know will not be successful. Right. You know, in fact, you know, there are many cases we turn away. We've had some listeners um, contact us, you know, and ask us for assistance. And it's, you know, it's not that we don't want to help. We just don't believe you will have a favorable outcome, you know, and, um, you know, hey, I, I, I definitely enjoy doing business that way. Um, I'm glad to be a part of the firm. Um, and uh, I think I've used my minute. You know, give yeah. us a call, 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. You know, I want to apologize. I'm just not used to speaking so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke, folks. <laughs> Once again, cruising with a case. The number to call the firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, before we get to the uh, questions, happens to be 844 774 3529. You just heard from Nelson Madrid. We call him the Maverick because of 
how excellent he is with dealing with the clients out there who have immigration issues. Make sure you make the phone call now. Speak with him off air for free via phone. And that number, once again, is 844-774-3529. Andrea also, she has spoken with quite a bit of people who have called, okay, for their free phone consultation. 844-774-3529. The key is not only to speak with them for free. The key is to actually retain them, hire them. That's where it counts, ladies and gentlemen. She spoke on the public charge and quite a few other things earlier. You don't want to be doing your case yourself. Absolutely, definitely not. Do not, I repeat, do your case yourself. You don't want to take chance and get put in removal proceeding or screw up your uh, filing. Don't do that, all right? With that said, I'm going to be jumping into the immigration questions. Got a couple of them here. Uh, quick one here. It says, how long does it take for the F2B visa approval? It's been five years and I'm still waiting for my interview. F2B is the unmarried son or daughter of permanent resident, um, 21 years of age or older. Um, it's taking about five years. So, you know, obviously there has been a lot of unforeseeable circumstances. There is the presidential proclamation. This person is subject to that, uh, that ban. So, you know, the earliest that person would probably be able to enter the United States would be sometime next year. And again, that's assuming that our current administration is no longer in office. If our current administration is still in office, it may be longer. But typically, you're looking at about five years, a little over five years. Got you. Um, here's another one. Hi, guys. As an aff affidavit of support, what documents do I need to submit as supporting documents? Uh, for an affidavit of support, Typically three years of tax returns, pay stubs, uh, sometimes bank statements. Um, again, you want to be able to demonstrate that you make enough money uh, to be able to support the person that you are petitioning for. An employment letter is also helpful. Got you. And someone here wants to pretty much know how do they get their passport back um, once they have aged out, they have kept it. What is the process to get it back? I have to right. tra travel to complete my degree and I'm in urgent need. I think uh, Conrad answered that question um, yesterday. Yeah, a different one, yeah. Right. Um, you know, again, we're in, you know, uncharted waters. Uh, it's unclear. Um, contact the embassy, you know, send them an email, give them a call, and just simply request your documents back. And consistently do that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're right smack in cruising with the case handler. We have Nelson Madrid and Andrea on board, Andrea Scher, attorneys at the firm, PPID, Paula Paula, Isaac, and DeSico. And they're answering your question. If you want to speak with them off air, privately, and confidentially, call them now for a free phone consultation at 844-774-3529. Dear friends, I'm asking for one of my friends. She got married to a U.S. citizen recently, and she's in the U.S. right now as a student. Can she apply for her green card application right now, or did USCIS stop all applications until December for this COVID situation? Is USCI is accepting all marriage-based application in U.S. now? And yes, is the procedure taking the same times or more than usual? I know so that. if she's in the United States mm -hmm. uh, and she's if, or her husband's filing for her, then it would be fine. She's not subject to the travel ban because she is in the U.S. That's assuming that she's not going to have to consular process and go back to the embassy. Um, and the times it could take between about a year, maybe longer. We're not sure right now how long it's going to take because of what's happening with immigration. We don't know if they're going to furlough the people in August, if they're not going to do it. it it's, it's hard to tell how long it could take, but she will be subject to the public charge. So that is something she's going to have to consider now. Okay. Final one. What if a petitioner is unemployed in F two A case? I applied for my husband, but I don't work due to COVID nineteen and the fact that I am pregnant. I'll work after I have had the baby. How will this affect his filing? F two A are spouses and children of permanent residents. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, I, I I need more facts. It's unclear whether the person is in the United States or whether they're abroad. Mm -hmm. um, but as I've said many times in the past, uh, the petitioner always, always has to file an affidavit of support for the beneficiary. Um, if you need a joint sponsor, you can obviously go ahead and use a joint sponsor. Uh, but this is something immigration takes into consideration. Um, and again, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, F2A is spouses and children of permanent residents. That 
again, if you're abroad, that is a preference, considered a preference category. So the presidential proclamation would prevent you from entering the United States. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to conclude for today. Those are the questions. I want to say thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Nelson. Everyone out there, if you want to speak with the attorneys now, call them now off air. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. And this has been an attorney advertisement. Gentlemen and lady, thank you so much for being here with us. It's been a pleasure. All right, quick show um, with uh, Adam being off early and uh, Conrad not being here. But listen, we look forward for tomorrow. And thank you again for being here for the people. And I'll make sure that they give you guys a call at 844-774-3529. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nine o'clock. All right. There you go.